Okay, this is one note where you can create notes, information for meetings, businesses, mind maps, anything you want that relates to notes and note taking. Very quick and easy on here. The advantage of OneNote is that you don't have to create a text box, you can just type anywhere on the screen and it will automatically put a box around things for you. You can use the arrows at the bottom here to link up your thoughts and create a mind map. You can even use the pen function at the bottom here to write your name. And once you've done that, you can then move your name around so you could create a signature at the bottom of a page or something like that. However, side here, we've got some more useful functions here with more template cho choices and options here. The academic ones, you can have detailed lecture notes. So if you're taking notes about what you were doing in a lecture, you can put things down for important points, etc. down there. The blank ones here are really useful if you've got anything like dyslexia. You can have, other than the white backgrounds, you can have different backgrounds to make it easier to read on the sides there. The business ones, you can have uh, formal meeting notes where you can work out an agenda without actually having to have all that typed up. It's all ready to go straight away. Decorative ones can be really fun. Some of the most popular ones, for instance, things like the bamboo, which gives a nice colourful style to your notes when you're doing those in there. And you've also got your planners, where you can have your uh, prioritised to-do list. So you can set things so your cleaning set as a high priority and low priority for dieting. And you can sit them with they've done, whatever you want on there. However, what we've also got on here, if we go back to a, a nice blank sheet on here, is you can actually capture things from web pages. Now I've got a web page here from the BBC behind, behind here. And you quickly and easily capture that from the web page. Go to the insert, click on screen clipping, graze out the screen, and then capture what you want from the web page. Puts it onto your note page, tells you where it came from, gives you a web link to the original thing, and gives you a time and date from where the screen clipping was actually taken. So you can, rather than creating web lists of things, you can use this to remember what, what you got from the web and where it was. That's an introduction to OneNote. There are lots of more cool features. That should get you going.